Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to your chosen class today. So this session is all about opening up your heart and really guiding you back into this place where you can feel and remember the love, compassion, warmth and capacity that exists right here. So you don't need any equipment for this class unless you would like a block. Um, we will be doing a little bit of balancing and a few poses that if you know you're living in a tighter bo body or a slightly more wobbly body today, then a block may be useful for you. So grab that now and then get yourself into a comfortable seated position. We'll start with a little bit of breath just to ground us into the intention of this flow. So find your seat and allow your spine to be nice and long and free. Crown of the head resting over the base of the spine, no matter how you're sitting. And let your shoulders soften down. Gently close those eyelids. And just draw your chin slightly in towards your throat, just feeling the back of the neck lengthen slightly more. Let your jaw relax and your face relax. Just feeling that your body is fully supported here by whatever you have underneath you. Allow your belly to soften. Allowing your focus and your awareness to gradually move inwards. And directing that awareness to your heart. So sensing the front of the chest, the center of the chest, and also the center of the upper back, so the back of the heart space as well. Feeling into the space that your heart occupies. And you might notice sensation here or there might be not a lot here there might be a dullness whatever you find there is okay as you hold your awareness here start to take some conscious breaths in through the nose and out through the nose shaping your breathing into a really nice gentle smooth effortless rhythm bringing in some soothing breath while holding the focus at the heart center breath stays soft so you can still have a really kind of deep and full breath, but keep this quality of softness so there's no forcing or straining. Hmm. As you hold that awareness at the heart center, noticing if anything develops here, any sensations change or move. Keeping with that nice gentle breath just in the background of your practice. Visualizing now a point of white light right in the center of your chest. Nice and deep. Point of white light. The presence of light here. And that could be a little flame flickering or a star however that kind of manifests for you there's no right or wrong holding that sense of light 
deep inside your heart space. And just breathing in and out. The light is bright, radiant, warm, healing, soft, loving, compassionate. And as you breathe into that, can you allow that to expand? Can you allow those qualities to get bigger, to radiate out further past the center of your chest? Moving up, moving down, moving out, moving diagonally. That light becomes bigger, warmer, brighter. Stay with whatever you're feeling and sensing right now. No right or wrong, no good or bad. Just you and your beautiful heart. Good. Keeping the eyes closed. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Draw the left shoulder down away from the ear towards the floor. As you breathe in, slowly bring the head back to the center and as you exhale, drop the left ear towards the left shoulder, drawing your right shoulder down and away from the ear towards the floor. Staying with your breath. Staying with that energy and awareness within the body, emanating from the heart space. Going to drop the chin to the chest, circle all the way down and around, over to the other side. And again, chin circles across the chest, back to the other side. So you're taking some semicircles. And when you're ready, I want you to allow this movement to evolve into a full circle. So as you breathe in, coming all the way back and around, allowing the throat to open. And then as you breathe out, chin coming down to the chest, circling around once more. And just continuing to rotate in one direction, nice and slow, moving with your breath. And when it feels right for you, changing that direction. Inhaling to circle back and around and exhaling to come forward and down. There's two more here. Landing back in the center when you're ready, head feels nice and light on top of the shoulders. You can open the eyes and come back into your surroundings, just reorientating yourself into the space. And place your right hand next to you on the mat, breathe in, raise that left arm up and over, side bend to the right. Pressing down through the floor with that left sitting bone, staying nice and grounded. Little rotation of the chest to the sky. Nice deep breath into that left side body. Press off the right hand and as you exhale, come up and over to the left side. Right arm comes up, left hand plants to the earth. Breathing into any nice open spaces that you can find and feel here. 
And then just moving with your breath, we're gonna go left to right, or right to left, flowing from side to side, nice, fluid, soft movements. Kind of imagining that your arms are moving through water. Moving at whatever pace feels right for you, leading from that heart space, honoring how your heart space feels today. Good, come back to the center, raise that right arm, bringing the bicep close to your ear, let the hand drop down to the base of your neck and take your left hand on top of that right elbow, coming into a gentle tricep stretch here. Drawing that elbow up towards the sky. And if you'd like to add a little bit more stretch here, take a little bend to the left. back to center, left arm comes up this time, palm comes down, holding on to the top of that left elbow. Just getting a little deeper into that left side body, around the ribs, the chest. Again, if you want a little bit more, gentle side bend to the right. Returning to center, release those arms down. And you're going to make your way into a child's pose. So scoot your body back, knees down to the mat, take them wide, big toes to touch. Then melt the chest, the forehead, and the belly down to the earth. And just surrender into this position. And give yourself a couple of moments to settle. Really arriving in your body and the practice and just kind of greeting your mat. Hello, friend. <laughs> Good. We're going to ex expand and extend this child's pose into a puppy pose. So I want you to lift your hips up above your knees. Stretch the hands and the arms out even further in front of you. And again, melt the chest down. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Forearms on the mat. Tail sticking up towards the sky. Heart open. You may like to use a block here. Underneath the chest or the forehead. You may find the chest comes down or the forehead comes down or maybe the chin even comes down. And draw the front ribs in slightly towards you and continue to breathe here right out into the shoulders, into the armpits, collarbones. Beautiful. Pressing down through those hands and the forearms now. You can use the knees as well to help you. You're going to guide the chest forward and lay your body down onto your mat. Feet are about hip width apart. And if the sphinx pose is a little bit too much on the lower back, just shimmy the arms forward a little bit, the elbows forward. Pressing down into the earth with the tops of your feet and with your pelvis. Feel your legs really engaged here. Roll the shoulders back. Broaden through those collarbones. Drag the elbows energetically back towards you. Neck is nice and long. Chin stays tucked in. Just tuning back into that heart space for a moment. Notice if anything's changed or shifted. Beautiful. Release your body down to the floor, forehead to the mat. Slide your hands either side of your chest, elbows drawing in towards the body and back. You're going to roll your shoulders back, lift the chest, peel up into a cobra as you inhale. As you breathe out, rippling down back to the mat. Inhale. Doesn't have to be a big lift. 
just working to your body today exhale peeling back down three more like that inhale exhale breathe in breathe out last one and return beautiful from here Pressing up into tabletop, just bring those knees forward a little bit onto your hands and knees, gripping the ground with your fingertips. Give your hips a little sway side to side, shimmy the shoulders. And then come back to the center, take a nice deep breath and roll those shoulders back. Arching your spine through this cow pose and then exhale through your cat, angry cat. Rounding the spine to the sky, press the floor away. Good, inhale, rippling through each vertebra. And exhale, spread those shoulder blades nice and wide. Open up the back of your heart here. Imagine that your shoulder blades are really opening out to reveal the back of your heart. Breathe in. Front of the heart opens and shines forward. And just continue through your cat cow for two more breaths. Good. Take one more inhale. Pausing here in this cow pose and then tuck your toes, press the floor away. Shift your hips up to our first downward dog. Just take a moment here to sit up and pedal out those feet. Sitting bones nice and high to the sky. You might wanna sway the hips side to side a little bit, just feeling into your downward dog. Leading all of your movement today from the heart. So it's very gentle, compassionate nurturing good take a walk to the front of the mat find a rag doll once you arrive feet can come a little bit wider nice soft bend in those knees rag doll forward let the whole body drape chin to the chest and if you want to find a little sway here side to side if that comes organically for you at this point shifting the weight from left to right foot and allowing your body to cascade down. Good. Start to press your feet firmly through the floor. Bend those knees. As you inhale, stacking your body up to standing. Rolling those shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then interlace your hands behind you. So you're clasping those fingers together, squeezing your back body. Take another breath in as you lift your chest, press the knuckles down towards the floor, and then exhale, bend the knees, fold the belly over the thighs, crown of the head to the floor, knuckles up and overhead. Make sure you're not scrunching your shoulders up towards your neck. Allow your neck to be really nice and free here. Bending your knees as much as you need to be able to bring the belly and the chest down towards the thighs, if you can, making that contact. And then we'll reverse out of this movement nice and smoothly, just the way we came in. So press through the floor, start to breathe in, knuckles press down to the earth. Release the hands, this time sweep them all the way up to the sky, stretch the body. Press your palms together above you. Press your pelvis forward and just lift the chest. Little bit of a back bend. Exhale, folding all the way down. Uttanasana. Halfway lift, breathe in, take your time. Shoulders roll back, chest shines forward. Holding that breath in as you step to the back. Pausing in a high plank for a moment. Feel your strength here. You need to drop to the knees, you can. Find whatever feels most gentle but strong. 
finding that balance between steadiness and ease, that dance. Breath in when you're ready. And let the exhale take you all the way down to the mat. Release those toes. Inhale, come through cobra. Exhale, press back to your knees, tuck your toes, shift those hips high, down dog. Deep breath in, lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, big launch to the front, feet together. Halfway lift as you inhale, long spine. Exhale, nice deep fold. No forcing, remember, soften the knees. Press through the earth, root to rise, big breath in. Palms press together, feel them connect. Exhale, hands come down through heart center and release. Inhale, raise the arms up, mountain. Exhale, nice deep fold. Soften those knees if you need to. Halfway lift, breathe in, hands to your shins or fingertips to the floor. Collarbones broad here, nice long spine. Bring the hands to the floor, bend the knees. This time as you exhale, step back with your left foot. Big long step to the back of the mat, lower the left knee to the floor. And then use that breath in to sweep the arms up. Come to low lunge. Bring the palms to touch. Press them lightly together. Soften your shoulders. Take another deep breath in here. And exhale, bring those hands to the mat. Tuck the left toe, step them back to the front, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Find your length here. And then as you exhale, plant the fingertips again. Extend the left leg back this time. Lower the knee. Find your balance. Inhale, rise up. Low lunge. Press those palms together. Nice soft shoulders. Take another inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky for split dog. Press down through your left heel. Now bend the right knee, see if we can roll the hips open. Try to stack the right hip on top of the left. Let your foot dangle and lift through your knee. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, nice and slowly, rocking forward on the ball of that back foot, drawing the right knee through planting the right foot in between your hands spin the back heel down find your balance inhale rise for warrior one exhale hands to the mat step back downward facing dog deep breath in raise your left leg to the sky split dog press the right heel towards the floor as you bend the knee roll those hips open Feel that beautiful stretch, lift through the knee, let the foot hang heavy. And taking one more big deep breath in, use that exhale to slowly round forward, step the left foot between the hands, lower that back foot down, inhale, rise for warrior one. And exhale, hands back to the mat. Downward facing dog. On your next inhale, slowly sweep the right leg to the sky. Point those toes coming into split dog. Press the left heel down towards the earth. Bend that right knee and let the hips open. Lift the knee to the sky. Let the foot hang heavy. And draw one more deep breath in here. As you exhale, slowly rocking forward, step that right foot in between the hands. You can take as many steps as you need to get there. Lower your back foot to the earth. Rise up, warrior one. And exhale, open out those toes, coming to the left side of your mat for warrior two. Sink down into that front knee, open the front body, reach out through the fingertips. Flip your front palm to the sky, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the floor. Step that right foot back to high plank or hands and knees and lower straight down to the earth. Come for cobra 
or upward facing dog if you're here, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale, find your down dog. And inhale to sweep the left toes to the sky, finding your split dog on this side, open up those hips, lift the knee, press down through the right heel. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, you're coming up onto the ball of those back toes. Shift the weight forward, look forward. Step the left foot between the hands. Lower the right heel down 45 degrees. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, floating open, warrior two. And sinking down a little bit deeper, feeling your strength here. Beautiful combination of softness and strength. Flip the front palm to the sky, inhale, reverse. Exhale, floating down. Stepping left foot back, high plank, or hands and knees and lowering down, keeping those elbows in nice and tight. Inhale, shine the heart, open the heart. Exhale, use those core muscles, hips to the sky, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, look forwards. Exhale, big step to the front, feet together. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, release. Root to rise, inhale, sweep the arms up. Lift the chest, press the hips forward. Mini back bend before you exhale. And let that breath take you all the way down, emptying all that breath out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hold that breath, step back, high plank. Let the exhale lower you down nice and slow. Remember if you're going for your upward facing dog, the elbows are only going down to halfway and then you're pressing the tops of the feet into the earth, drawing the palms of the hands back towards you, shoulders down, neck nice and long. Exhale, drive those hips to the sky, down dog. Beautiful, inhale, raise the right leg, split dog. No bend in the knee this time. Open up to that little kind of scorpion leg, lift the knee, find that little bit of extra opening. And then exhale to step all the way through, finding your warrior one. Breathing in, raising the arms. Breathing out, float the hands down behind you, clasp the hands together, find that interlace. Take another inhale, really lift the chest, press those knuckles down towards the floor, open the heart to the sky. Exhale for humble warrior. So let the body come to the inside of that right thigh. Nice deep bend in the front knee. Crown of the head towards the earth. Neck is long. Breathe. Beautiful. Can we exit this pose with strength, grace, and ease? Press the feet through the earth. Start to lift the chest. Release those hands. Come back to warrior one as you inhale. Exhale, opening to your warrior two once more, sinking down. Flip the front palm, breathe in, reverse. And exhale to glide into side angle, right elbow to right knee, sweep the left arm up and over, find length all the way from the back foot, out through those top fingertips. Little rotation of the chest towards the sky. And then begin to circle this top arm. Imagine that you're swimming through water, gliding through beautiful crisp lake. And then next time that arm comes back, you're going to bind that lower arm behind your lower back. Just take their gaze to the floor in front of your front foot. Keeping that whole front side of your body open to the long edge of your mat. Start to reach forward, launch your weight into the right foot. Reaching for your block or for the floor, we're coming into half moon. So slide the toes in and then squeeze the butt muscles to lift and open. 
Your hand is about a foot in front of your front foot, slightly to the right to give you stability. Press out through the back heel, and then if it's there for you, raise the top arm. If you wobble out, that's okay. Come back in, I'm right here with you. Stay with your breath, keep your gaze in one place. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna fold that left heel towards the left buttock. See if you can reach back nice and gently, taking hold of the top of the ankle, top of the foot with the left hand. Press the foot into the hand. And then very nice and slowly, wherever you are, bend the standing leg, take a long step to the back of the mat. Breathe in through reverse warrior. And then exhale all the way back down. High plank. Take it down through chaturanga. Breathing in for cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhaling to down dog. Nice work. If you need to take a little pause, child's pose. Whatever you need. Just going to reset here. Reconnect to the breath. Tune back into that heart space. And when you're ready. Moving through to that left side. Breathing in, raising left leg. Opening out into that split dog, kind of scorpion pose. Making it nice and fluid as you exhale. Big step through to the front. Find your warrior one, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands float down behind you, interlace the hands. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, humble warrior. Try to snuggle the left side body to the left inner thigh. And let the head and neck relax completely. Pause here. Really press those knuckles up and over your head towards the floor. Feel the chest and heart open. Surrender. Good. Inhale, reversing that movement to come all the way back up to warrior one as you breathe in. And then opening to warrior two with the breath out. Sink down nice and low. Inhale, flip and reverse. Exhale, elbow to knee, side angle pose, right arm comes up and over. That top palm faces down. Good, find your steadiness here and then start to circle that top arm. Big, beautiful circles. Good, and then next time you arrive towards the back of your body, binding the arm behind your lower back, take the gaze to the floor in front of you, preparing for half moon, Ardha Chandrasana on this side. So we're launching into the left foot, reaching for the block or the floor, drag the toes in, and then you wanna squeeze the buttocks and press the hips forward so you can roll that top hip open, stack it. Toes pointing over to Nine o'clock on the clock face. And if you can, if you want, raise the top arm. And if you're feeling really steady here, I challenge you to shift your gaze. So rather than looking down, can you look straight ahead? See what happens. And then maybe even you can look up to the top hand, see what happens. <laughs> good if you've wobbled out that's okay come back in and if you want that little bit more reaching back for that right foot taking sugar cane here bending that right knee pressing the foot into the hand holding for three two and one softly stepping back Breathing in through your reverse 
And then exhaling all the way down. Step the left foot back. Lower down all the way to the earth. Bring your right ear to the mat. And let your arms relax by the side of you. Pausing here, feel the weight of your body, feel the heat, feel the energy. You might be able to feel your heart beat into the mat, into the earth. Good. You're going to square the head forwards again. Just rest the forehead on the mat. I'm going to come into locust from here. So next time as you inhale, I want you to roll your shoulders back as if to come into cobra, but you're reaching the arms behind you as if somebody's got hold of your hands and they're gently drawing you back, lifting the chest, keeping the chin tucked in. Squeeze the back body as you open the front body and see if you can lift the feet as well. Squeezing the buttocks, pointing the toes, breathe. Good, one more inhale. And exhale, gently release. This time we're going to add on, we're going to interlace the hands behind us again. If you can't quite get the interlace, maybe try opposite hand, opposite elbow behind you. Or if that's not accessible, just stay with the, the arms and the hands out next to you. So if we're going for the clasp, again using the breath in, press the knuckles towards your toes, lift your chest, neck nice and long. And then engage and activate those legs, lift. Holding here, breathing here. One more breath in and gently release. Take a pause. We're going to do that one more time. This time, if you'd like to go for the next uh, variation, which is bow pose, you're more than welcome to come with me. Otherwise, I want you to do one more of either of those two options that we just did. So if you're going for bow, you're going to fold the heels towards the buttocks, lift the chest and reach both the hands back to grab the tops of the ankles. If this is enough for you here, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, engage the back body, press the pelvis into the floor, squeeze the glutes. And if you want a little bit more, see if you can press the feet up towards the sky and into the hands. Feel that beautiful stretch through the chest and shoulders. Try not to let the feet splay too far apart. Beautiful. One more inhale here. And exhale. Very carefully release your body back down to the floor. This time you're going to take your left arm out to the side of you, either in a straight line or a right angle. And using your right fingertips, I want you to lift that right knee and kind of scorpion it over back behind you like we did in our split dog before. Rest your head, the left side of your head to the floor or to your support. And you're rolling up kind of onto that left hip left side of your body so that you can find a stretch on the inside of your left shoulder, left side chest. And just play around with it until it feels right for you. Good, release back to your belly. Right arm comes out next to you this time using the opposite hand to peel you up onto that right hip. Top leg just is going to land wherever it feels right for you to get the stretch. So it might be on the floor, it might be kind of in the air, as long as your body feels supported.
Beautiful. Rolling back to your belly. Hands either side of your chest. Breathe in, open the heart one more time, Cobra. Exhale, press back. Let's find one last downward facing dog. Let's walk it out here. And then lower to your knees. Let your hips rest back towards your heels, child's pose. Any child's pose here that feels good. And once again, surrendering. Surrendering to yourself, surrendering to the earth, to the universe, to God, whatever it is that you believe in that is bigger than you. Trust. Make your way up to sitting and take your legs gently out in front of you. And we're going to just gently fold forward and give our legs a little hug. Knees are bent slightly. And you might be hugging the shins or the thighs. Let the chin drop down to the chest. Feel that nice stretch up either side of your spine. slowly bring yourself back up shuffle your bottom forwards and then peel yourself all the way down onto your back you're going to draw the knees into the hands so the knees are about arm's length away from you and once they're there press your lower back into the floor open out your arms nice and wide and let those knees drop to the right so you're twisting the lower body the hips and the legs to the right Softening into a supine twist. Using support underneath the, the legs if you need something. You should be able to uh, relax here, feel supported. Fall slowly back to the center with those knees and then take yourself to the left. Lean those knees, come over to the left hand side. Beautiful. Gently back to the center and hug both of those knees in. Give yourself another big hug. Mm. Stretching out, coming to rest in Shavasana. We're going to take just a short Shavasana to integrate that movement and we're actually going to close with a meditation. So please stay in the practice if you can. So entering into your Shavasana, allowing your body to be open, receptive, soft. Feeling the back of your body in contact with the earth, feeling the front of your body open. Relax the face and the jaw.
And as you let your body sleep, rest your awareness again at the heart center. Beautiful, keeping this quality of relaxation, peace and calm. Rolling yourself gently to the side with your eyes closed. And bring yourself back up to a seated position that is comfortable. Spine tall body supported and relaxed. Awareness at the heart. Imagining that you have a little door right at the front of your chest, in front of your heart, a little tiny door. And there's also a door at the back of the heart, the center of your back. Now, as you breathe in, I want you to open that door and let the breath come right into your heart space. As you breathe out, let the back door open, exhale out through that back door as the breath leaves your body. Do that one more time, breathe in, through that open front door and breathe out through that open back door. Good. This time as you breathe in, Please bring to mind, feel, sense, and allow all of your worries, your pain, your stresses, your doubts. I want you to breathe those into your heart through the door. Breathe them all in. Take them in. And as you exhale, let them release through the back door. Notice what's happening here in your heart. It's okay. Whatever your feeling is okay as you breathe in again, breathing in all of your worries, your pain. Taking them right in and then releasing them out through the back door. One more time. Now bring someone to mind that you love, someone that's close to you. And I want you to breathe in, take into your heart as you inhale, all of their worries, their pains, their stresses, their doubts, breathe it all into your heart. Your heart starts to swell and grow even bigger as you take in all of this pain from the person that you love. And then exhale, let that back door open and breathe it out. Okay. Taking it all in, knowing that you can do it, you can take it. You can transmute this. Exhale out the back. Again, breathing in, taking it in. Breathing out, letting it go. Beautiful. Now think of someone that you do not get along with. Someone that is not in your life for whatever reason. Someone that you've fallen out with. Someone that you can't seem to gel or connect with or who has caused you pain or hurt. And now I want you to breathe in all of their pain, all of their anguish, all of their suffering and struggles. Breathe it into you. Open the door and let it in. 
open the door at the back and let it out. Again, taking in this pain, suffering of this person that you do not like. Welcome it in and then release it out. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Uh, notice what you're feeling here. You're doing really well. You can do this. Your heart is infinite and you have the capacity to take this in. Final step. I want you to take all of the pain of the world, the whole world, all the pain, all the suffering, all the agony, the trauma, the sadness. Breathe it into your heart through that open door. Take it into you. And breathe it out through the back. This can be quite intense, so you're doing really well. Just stay with it, breathing in the pain of the world, taking it into your big, warm, beautiful heart space that can hold anything and still be okay and still be full of love. Breathe it out the back. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Final time, breathing in the pain of the whole world into your being for you to hold and nurture and love that pain and then release it out of your body. And just let go of that exercise. Gently close the doors of your heart again. We're not slamming them shut and we're not locking them. Just notice what you feel here, how expansive you feel, warm, light, bright, the energy, the vortex of your heart energy swirling around you. And we'll take one final breath in through the nose. And this time out through the mouth and just let everything go. Bow your chin to your chest, just bowing towards your own heart. And lift the head again, open the eyes, come back into your space. And just notice the difference in how you feel, how you experience yourself, your surroundings, people around you. Go forward with love, much love from me to you, and I'll see you for our next practice.